guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday and welcome to yet another Friday Favorites and Flops. I hope you guys all had a really great week. Um, I had a pretty good week myself and um, I'm excited for the weekend. <laughs> I do actually have a couple of potential client meetings this weekend. Um, this is, I'm technically coming into my booking season for summer weddings. So I have, I think, two meetings this weekend with potential clients. So um, I think that's what the next couple of months worth of weekends are going to look like for me. So, but it's, it's cool. I means I have work again for next summer, which is always a bonus, right? Um, anyway, I have stuff to share with you guys. And as always, I will link everything down below. I think I might start with my flop this week. Usually I save it for the end, but I'm going to go ahead and start with it now because it will allow me to address my hair. <laughs> so I did get my hair cut this week. It doesn't really probably look very different from the front, but it's the back. Um, I had a, I guess you could call it like a shattered A-line bob in mind. Um, I do like that more asymmetrical look where it's a little bit longer in the front than in the back. I had her put some more layers in. It does not look great this morning because, well, one of the products that I used is just such a giant flop. Also, it's really dry. We have not had rain in, in a little while here, and it's been really sunny and windy and dry. And so my hair is just like very like flyaway. And one of the products that I recently picked up to try to give my hair a little bit more grit and be able to poof it up a little bit more is the Kristen S. Dry Finish Working Texture Spray. This is supposed to be for all hair types. It's supposed to be texture building, instantly volumizing, ultralight hold, and soft matte finish. I picked this up at Target because I heard somebody else talking about it and just raving about it. And I was like, all right. I." I do love me some volume. So this does nothing, you guys. <laughs> I don't I don't know what this I just I don't understand this product at all. So it does have a really nice like spray to it. Sorry. I'm gonna I mean you're supposed to be able to like spray it into the layers of your hair and like zhuzh your hair up. I've already sprayed a ton of this into my hair this morning. And you guys can see how flat my hair is. It just, it smells good. I mean, I'll give, I like the smell of it, but it does nothing for my hair, you guys. My hair is so flat. There's no, there's no grit to it at all. It's like silky, silky, fly away, it's dry outside kind of hair, you know, like winter hair. Um, I would not recommend this at all. If you see this at Target, I would say keep walking because... I just kind of feel it's pointless. <laughs> and it was like $14.99. So, I mean, I guess maybe it could work as a, like, dry shampoo. I don't think you can return stuff like this to Target, like, if you're unhappy with the products. Correct me if I'm wrong. I also don't think that I have my receipt anymore. But anyway, I think I'll use it as a dry shampoo for mornings where I have to go to the flower market and my hair's kind of oily when I first wake up. I'll save it for that. I don't know. But that was like, that was pointless. A hair product I am loving, however, is the Grow Gorgeous Hair Density Serum Intense. I'm also using the shampoo and conditioner, which I have thoughts about as well, but I'm going to review the whole system in the next like week or so here. But I've been using this and I am down to about here. So this hair density serum is really cool stuff. I do think that it has helped to um, maybe spur some new growth and also just is really soothing to my scalp and it sort of forces me to give myself like a scalp massage every single morning. You use about 20 drops, it comes with a pipette, um, use about 20 drops of this like throughout your entire head and then you massage it into your hair. You can do it when your hair is dry, but I just do it like right before I put in all of my styling products and blow dry my hair. But I just give myself this really nice scalp massage, which can also stimulate the hair follicles and maybe encourage growth or, you know, whatever. But 
I just, I really, I'm really liking this, you guys, and I do look forward to using this for an extended period of time and giving you guys some long-term, like, results. Um, I'm really excited about it. You can buy this by itself, but like I said, I got it in a system from Skin Store. I will link the set that I got down below, but I'll also link this by itself. I think you can actually get this at Ulta, so Ulta points. <laughs> love that but um i'll link it down below read up on it um one of my subscribers uh uses this stuff as well and she swears by it so she buys it in bulk too so i'm really excited about that let's talk some skincare first abriva <laughs> this is a skincare product for me because it's for the skin around my mouth because i managed to get a cold sore from the weather um I mean, I obviously have the cold sore virus, so it's, it is within me and periodically when it's dry and cold and there's no moisture in the air, I get a cold sore and it sucks. I hate it. This is why I love the rain. I feel like when it's raining, I just don't get them. Um, but this is the Abriva Docosinol 10% cream. This is for cold sores slash fever, blisters, whatever you want to call them. This really does, for me, cut the healing time in half. Um, I have tried lysine. I do, by the way, take lysine pills, so I take them internally to sort of help clear it up, and then for a few weeks after to prevent another outbreak. I should probably take the lysine on a daily basis, but um, lysine creams don't work on my cold sores, but when I take it internally, it seems to help. But this is the only thing that I've ever found that actually heals them significantly faster and um, it's really good stuff. So love that. Um, more skincare. This is the Dermalogica Multivitamin Thermofoliant. This is from their H Smart line. I've been wanting to try more and more from Dermalogica and this came in the 12 Miracles of Beauty giant set that I shared with you guys, which by the way, I bought another one of because they were $55. They went down from $99 to $55. The amount of stuff you're getting in there for $55 is insane. If the set is still available for that price or really any price, if it's just still available, I will link it down below. This came in that. This by itself, I want to say, is probably 30 something dollars. Um, it's, it's an exfoliant, uh, a um, manual physical exfoliant so it does have some grit to it but it's just like jelly almost like Vaseline type substance the granules in here are extremely fine this smells really good too by the way um but I work this into my skin very very gently and the smoothness that it gives my skin is amazing I love the way my skin feels afterwards and it's not red it's not irritated um, I use very very little pressure when I'm doing any of my like scrubs on my face so same goes for this one um, this has both physical and chemical exfoliants in it to refine texture and enhance um, vitamin delivery resurfacing microgranules gently polish off dulling skin cells and reveal smoother fresher skin um, and then uh, this also has uh, lactic acid salicylic acid and retinol in it so I, I really like this I think this is a wonderful product that I could totally see myself for purchasing again and again if you've tried this from Dermalogica let me know your thoughts down below but this is wonderful. Another skincare item I've been trying. Um, this is the Kate Blanc Cahoba Oil Certified Organic Oil. Um, they sent this to me, so this was a PR item right here, and um, you can see I've already used quite a bit of it. Um, 
you can use jojoba oil on your face, your hair, your body. I have been using it exclusively on my body. So I've been using it after getting out of the shower to hydrate my body head to toe. I will just take like a pipette full for like both of my arms. By the way, this has been lovely for soothing my eczema and the dryness that my skin is experiencing because once again of the cold, dry, windy weather. Um, I've been using this after shaving my legs to soothe my legs. This is a really nice jojoba oil, you guys. It is very good quality. It absorbs super quickly. It doesn't leave me feeling greasy. I can get dressed within probably 10 minutes of putting this on. So right after I'm done with the shower, I just sort of pat my skin dry and I keep this right outside of the shower and I reach out, get it on and spread it all over my body, get out, put my towel on or a robe and um, I'll do my makeup and then get dressed. And it just, it, my skin is so soft, you guys, which is not something that I would normally say about Melanie Winter skin, but my skin is soft and I love, I really love this stuff. I haven't used a whole lot of jojoba oil in the past, but it is a very beneficial oil. Um, they also sent me their rose hip seed oil, which I haven't actually opened yet. So I'll start incorporating that in the next couple of weeks and let you guys know about that. But this is a uh, organic jojoba oil here. The quality, like I said, is amazing. Um, packaging's very nice. Um, I like it. I like it a lot. So um, yeah, look into jojoba oil and see if this is something that you're interested in. I can highly recommend this Kate Blanc brand it's really really nice high quality oil so I will link it down below for you guys and this is a huge four ounce bottle here so worth checking out for sure um let's talk some makeup stuff didn't do a whole lot in terms of lipstick this week I was actually using the Smith's rose and mandarin lip balm this is the Smith's rosebud balm this one is um this is a great one for this time of year because it just reminds me of Christmas because it smells like oranges and cloves. Now because of my cold sore I have not applied any of my lip products to my lips directly. Um, I have been using, I mean I guess I could use like a lip brush but I don't even want to deal with that because I just want disposable and quick. I've been using a q-tip to scoop this out and smooth it onto my lips so that I'm not contaminating this and I obviously don't double dip. Like um, if you have an active cold sore, you do not want to be using your like lip products and then putting them away and then it's just not a good situation. Don't do that. <laughs> just stay away from lip products in general and maybe just use a lip balm like this. Um, but that, I, I really like the Smith's Rosebud Balms, period. Like I love all of the ones that I've tried. The Tropical Ambrosia is my newest favorite. Um, because it, it smells delicious. It smells like ambrosia. But they are a petroleum-based product, so do know that. I know some people have an aversion to that. But for me, this keeps my lips really hydrated. It protects against that cold wind that I'm dealing with and keeps my lips smooth and soft and a little bit of shine. I mean, obviously, there's no color on my lips, but I'm okay with that. So anyway, do really like that. Um, another lip product I want to tell you guys about, I did do a review of the Christopher Buckle um, Cashmere Slip Day and Night Longwear Lipstick and Lip Top Coat Set. So I, um, I reviewed this, when would it have been? Tuesday, probably. And um, I'll link that video down below. You can find this stuff at QVC. I really like these lip products. Now, I was not able to apply them directly to my lips. What I did was um, I once again used a Q-tip. So I put the product onto the back of my hand and then applied with my both my fingers. Who is knocking on my door? We're going to ignore that. Um... I spread it around my lips um, and then I also used a q-tip to get into like you know like the corners of my mouth and stuff um, worked well um, you guys really liked this color hush which is what I was wearing in that video um, I didn't want to contaminate these lipsticks because they're actually really nice um, same thing with the gloss um, I put it on the back of my hand and then grabbed it with my finger and spread it on so but I really do like these. I think they are a really great long wear lipstick that um, 
feels like a million bucks on the lips doesn't dry your lips out feels really really nice so anyway these are great um a couple more products blush this week aura from Lorac. so these these guys here um this is available in a set, in a holiday set, that I might link down below. It also comes with one of the Lorac highlighters. And I really like this color, you guys. This is what I'm wearing today. I love these, like, mauve nudie, neutral shades. You guys know I live for these, and this is one of the prettiest, honestly. If you've never tried these um, Lorac blushes, what are they called? I mean, there, there's no, like, specific, like, blush name on the back. It's just the little rock blush, I guess. Um, they are very wearing on, very long wearing on oily skin. They apply very pigmentedly. They're very pigmented. There we go. <laughs> so you want to be careful not to apply too much. Build up. <laughs> um, and they uh they don't accentuate my pores they just they look very pretty now this is a matte i do prefer matte blush and it, j it just looks so pretty i just i love this color i think it's gorgeous eyes i was playing with the theory chroma palette from visart viziart oh i never know how to say it i think it's viziart um this is so pretty and i love the texture of these so much you guys that I want to buy another one. I really don't need any more eyeshadow right now. So I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to wait until the Sephora Spring VIB sale to get at least 15% off because these are spendy at $45. Bucks. Um, but these are beautiful eyeshadows, you guys. The hype around this formula is real. Today I have this shade right here on my um, lids. And then in my crease, I just have a little bit of, what is this, bark, mulch, brune, brune from MAC. Um, this is uh, something that I pulled out for my beauty basket, but this shade right here. So that's what I have in my crease paired with that. Um, and then I have the this dark brown as my liner on my lids. These are so nice, you guys. I really want the purpley, like, amethyst-looking one next, so I'll save my pennies for that because it's. I think it's going to be worth it. Another eyeshadow product I was loving with this week, um, and really for ever since I got it in this set, is the Wander Beauty Dove Gray Liquid Eyeshadow. I reviewed the Wander Beauty Iconic set on Monday. I'll link that video down below. Um, you guys, this is these liquid eyeshadows are to die for and this mauve satiny taupe shade is it's so beautiful you guys <laughs> it's so beautiful um and these wear all day on my oily lids I mean I still put on an eyeshadow primer I use the Too Faced shadow insurance I always put on an eye primer but ooh. These are so pretty. Um, you might as well just get the set so you can get the rose gold one too and then you get to try some other things from Wander Beauty because they are worth every single penny. Wander Beauty, and several people have said this on that video that I put up on Monday, that Wander Beauty doesn't get enough hype on YouTube. Um, it's a brand that is just not talked about very much but they have some amazing things. Their Unlash Mascara is beautiful. I love it. It, it does not beat my Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir, but it's a really, really good mascara. So anyway, this eyeshadow, I love it. And lastly, I'm almost out of this, but using it up this week has really reminded me that I, I love this powder. This is the Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Tinted Pressed Finishing Powder. I have it in the color light, you guys. I have major pan on this. I'm actually to the point where I'm using a beauty blender to like get the product out and I'm stamping it onto my face and then rubbing it in with my brush. Um, this is a great powder. If you have oily skin and you need a finishing powder, try this one. It absorbs the oil. It doesn't look cakey throughout the day. You can reapply and touch up. It's just a really lovely product and I will definitely repurchase it, but I need to get through a couple of my other powders first because I am intent <laughs> that in, in 2018, I'm going to finish up 
a lot of my makeup products. Probably not eyeshadows and blushes. I mean, maybe I can try to pan a palette, but um, like there's a lot of like face products that I just need to use up and I go through those fairly quickly. This is something that I will repurchase at some point next year. It's really, really lovely. I highly recommend it. So that is everything that I have for you guys today. It will all be linked down below, so go check out the description box if you want to read up on any of more of these things. And um, I'm going to go down and see if that was a package delivery or someone trying to sell me something. Even though we have a giant no soliciting sign on our door. Drives me nuts, you guys. <laughs> I just I don't it's, I don't get it like it says no soliciting and then here you are trying to sell me something I just I don't even open the door for salespeople I just I, I I'm so rude I yell through the door I'm like do you see the sign no <laughs> I stopped being nice a long time ago because being nice didn't work either so anyway all right and rant have a good weekend you guys I'll see you soon bye